So the left, right, and mid functions in Microsoft Excel help us to extract data from a cell. So let's imagine this scenario. We've got information about products that we sell, and there's a lot of information about them in this identifier column. It tells us the factory where it was produced. That's the first three letters. Then maybe it tells us the category of the product. That's the three numbers in the middle. Like, is it in electronics or food or housewares, something like that. And then the last five numbers are the actual product ID, which is unique to every product. Let's maybe say what we want to do is take this out and put it into separate columns. And so we can use left, right, and mid to do that. So let's maybe start with the factory ID. And since that's on the left, I'm going to use the left function. And then I'm going to select the cell, use a comma, and then put three. Because that's how many characters that I want to pull out from this identifier. DFK is the factory in this case. I'll hit enter. And to autofill this, so I don't have to type it out manually one by one, what I'm going to do is click on the cell and double click on the bottom right corner. And it's going to autofill it for me. Now let's actually go over to the product ID. Those are the last five digits on the right. And we're going to use the right function to do that because it's on the right. I'm going to select the cell again, and I'm going to use a comma and then five as the number of characters because that product ID is five digits long. And then I'll enter. And like I've done with the factory ID, I'm going to double click the bottom right corner to autofill the remaining rows for me. Now, the category ID is a little trickier. It's in the middle. It's not the left or the right. So we're going to use the mid function. And again, I'm going to select the cell that I want to pull text from. And what I've got to put in, though, is the start number. So the start number here is going to be number 5, because that's when, in this case, 3 starts, the first number in the category. So 5 is where we're starting. And then what I want to do is put in the number of characters I want to pull, and every category appears to be 3 characters. And so I'll close it that way. And then I'll hit enter, and I'm good to go. It's going to pull out the category ID for me now. And I'll double-click the bottom right corner again to autofill it for me. Now, another similar function is one that's called len, and I'll type it out here, len. And basically, this is going to give us the length of the text in a cell. So I'm going to select that identifier, close this, and it tells me that there's 13 characters in that cell. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want the link to the sample file used in this video, it's down in the description, as well as a link to an Excel course if you're interested.